So in this video, I'm going to look over the Roland MX-1, just a couple of the features. I'm not doing a complete overlook, just the things that interest me. So pretty much I have the circuit, which is going through here, and I press play on my deluge, and we can hear what it's sequenced, and that's the volume. So what's cool is we can turn this and change the filter to high pass or low pass. But we can also select it. When we select it, we're telling it we can change all these properties or we can go into here and add some beat effects. So if we turn beat effects on, it's on filter right now, and you can actually change the mode of filter by holding it down, turning this knob. But here we go. We can just listen to what it, what's programmed up here. Each one of these is a step, so you can hear what it does. So you can just play around with rhythms and things like that. Just 16 steps, but it's not so bad. Next one, side chain. So what that's going to do is going to mute it, almost as if like that's where you'd put like your kick drum on another track for when it cuts out, like say a synth line. Also there's Slicer, so you can hear what that does. Now I just wanna mention a couple of key combos that I found very useful. First off, if you want to change, let's say you wanna change the beat effects for a bunch of these tracks, hold down select on multiple tracks. You can do the same thing. You can change the gain, pan, etc. for whatever we have selected uh, in one fell swoop. So that works pretty nice. But if you want all of them selected, you hold down gain and press select, and now it's got everything highlighted. So in terms of beat effects, it works the same way, gain, beat effects, and it turns them all on. If we hold down aux, if we hold down pan and press BFX, it turns them all off. If we press aux, that enables everything except for the one we chose. And then if we do fader, let's say all these are off too. If I hold fader down, press any of these, it's going to inverse our selection. That also works on master effects, and it also works on muting. So everything, nothing. This is solo, so the solo's whatever we press. And then this again, inverts everything. So you can do solo, invert, solo, invert, or anything else. So right now we're just going to solo the circuit right here. I did want to mention, if we have this selected and we choose gain and we can turn it up and down, that's like the master volume. And then this is the fader. Uh, so if something's way too quiet, you can crank it up by using gain, make sure it's selected. Here's like the raw sequence that I made with the deluge with everything on. So go to my octa track, let's just solo. Changing the filter. Okay. So let's uh, let's turn everything off for now. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to look at the master effects because it's pretty cool what we can do with it. Um, so up here we can choose by holding down, let's say, delay, and you can change it to different kinds of delay. Now I have all of these set to ones that I prefer and use. Let's turn everything on and let's apply, say, the delay. works in both directions, in different ways, depending on what mode we're using. Now let's go to filter. So I have this set up to high pass, low pass. And see, this isn't applied to the EMX, so you can hear the bass still. But if I apply it, it's all into through the filter. So you can be very selective about it, which is nice. This one's scatter, it's pretty crazy. Pretty nice. And then there's flange. So this way, it's manual. So if I wanted to 
do something gradual or really fast. There we go. And over here, it actually changes the rate. So it automatically moves it like it's an LFO. Here's Bit Crush. Let's go the other direction. Again, we can apply that to anything. So let's turn off the circuit from going through it. And now that's back. Octatrack. Let's do roll. I like this one a lot. So whatever is going through this, I'm going to turn off a beat. Whatever's going through this is going to go through a roll. So it's going to keep repeating. Let's apply all this to it so it's not... You can really hear it in full effect. that's pretty fun but there's this awesome effect you can use combi and what that does is you can actually enable and disable any of these set to the steps so you can only play one at a time so i could say scatter here 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 and you can actually change the mode of what we're adding by turning this and holding it down so you can do a lot of different sounds now as compared to what it was before and you can just change it and then we'll press play and you'll see it's going through the steps. So if I turn it this way, it's applying all those effects wherever, I, however I have it stepped out. So it's pretty crazy and powerful. But here's what I like to do. I hold down combi and press shuffle. And now it just changed it. So all of these patterns are randomly generated. And the different modes are randomly generated. So if I press play, so I never know what's going to happen here. So it makes it for really exciting changes. You know, if you don't like it, combi, shuffle. And you can always just experiment with it. And while that's going, maybe turn off the EMX beat. So now that's going to be constant. So if it runs into something that's like a roll, it's not going to affect. We still hear a beat. Can combine it let's say with uh, I have a chaos pad right over here and then you can combine the beat effects that we have I already have them already pre-programmed so it might sound crazy so like turn all that off This again.